Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss about numerical solutions of second order ODEs. So the thing that we will discuss in this video, the first one in production and the second one is the shooting method. Where the objective of this topic is at the end, everybody must know how to solve boundary value problems by using shooting method. Now, let's start with the introduction first. In initial value problem or IVP, the condition is specified at the same value of the independent variable. However, for boundary value problem, the conditions are specified at different values of the independent variable. Here is the general form for ODEs for boundary value problem. So given the equation, d square y dx square is equal to our function f and the conditions given to us. The first one, y a is equal to alpha and the second one, y b is equal to beta. Here some of the applications of second order ODE. So first one, deflection of beams where the equation is a second order. And the second one, we have springs and shock absorbers of automobile where the equation also is in a second order equation and if for second order if given to us two conditions so we can solve by using shooting method that we will discuss later so the method that we will use to solve the second order ODE with boundary value problem is a shooting method Shooting method is a technique of converting the boundary value problem or BVP to an equivalent initial value problem, IVP. Then, an initial value problem is solved via a trial and error approach. This technique is called a shooting method by analogy to the procedure of shooting the object at a stationary target. Here are the steps how to solve a shooting method. Step number one, you are going to reduce the second order ODE with boundary value problem of equation to a system of first order ODE with initial value problem. The second order ODE is transformed into a system of two first order ODEs. So here are the transformation. So from second order ODE, so we transform into the system of first order ODE. So we will have two equations of first order ODE. So this is equation number one for first order. And this is for second equation for first order. Then for step number two, we are going to determine the initial value. The boundary value at the first point of the domain is known and is used as one initial value of the system. The additional initial value that required for solving the system is guess. For step number three, the equivalent system of initial value problem is then solved via Euler's method or RK4 method. However, in this course, only Euler method shall be considered. Then, step number four, the solution obtained at the end of the domain is compared with the boundary condition. If the numerical solution is different from the boundary condition, the guess initial value is changed and the system is solved again. And for the last step, if the result obtained from the second initial guess also differ from the boundary conditions, so we need to extrapolate the initial value using linear extrapolate formula. So here is the extrapolate formula where G1, the first guess at initial slope, D2, second guess at initial slope, R1, final result at end point using our G1, R2, second result at end point using our G2, and D is the desired value at the end point. So after we have the new initial guess, then we are going to solve again the problem by using Euler method. For better understanding, let's try to solve one example. 
use the shooting method to approximate the solution of the boundary value problem. So this is the equation y double pi minus 2y is equal to 0 and this is the boundary value problem y0 is equal to 1.2 and y1 is equal to 0 0.9. And given also to us, our step size is equal to 0 0.25. So to solve by using Euler, so given to us the first initial gas Z0 is equal to minus 1.5 and second initial gas Z0 is equal to minus 1. Okay, firstly, let's catch our number line first. So we will start with x not is equal to zero because this is the first initial guess where when x not is equal to zero, our y not is equal to 1.2. Then the increment h is equal to 0 0.25. That means x1 is equal to 0 0.25. x2 is equal to 0 0.5 x3 is equal to 0 0.75 and x4 is equal to 1.0 okay since uh, the next initial uh, the next condition when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 0.9 that's mean our y4 is equal to 0 0.9 so we are going to find the value for y1 y2 and also y Three. Next, let's transform our second order ODE into the system of first order ODE. So this is our equation. d square y dx square minus 2y is equal to 0. I rearrange my equation to make this, uh, d square y dx square as a subject. So I will have d square y over dx square is equal to 2y. Then I let my z is equal to dy dx. So this is my f1. Then I differentiate dz dx. So that's mean I will have d square y dx squared. That's mean dz over dx is equal to d square y over dx squared. Where d square y dx squared is equal to 2y. That's mean dz dx is equal to 2y. So this will be my f2. Okay, I write back my system of first order ODE. The first equation I have dy over dx is equal to z. So this will be my f1. And the second one I have dz over dx is equal to 2y. This will be my f2. And I will solve these two equations by using Euler. Okay, uh, how to solve for system, we already discussed in the previous uh, topic. So let's recall, okay, how to solve Euler for system. The first one, okay, the formula is we have xi plus 1 is equal to xi plus h. And then since we have two equations, okay, for y and for z, that means we will have another two equations. The first equation is for y, yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus f1, xi, yi, zi multiplied with h. And the second equation is for z, zi plus 1 is equal to zi plus f2, xi, yi, zi multiplied with h. Okay, let's start the calculation. Okay, so for the first one, okay, we will use the first initial guess where Z0 is equal to negative 1.5. And we know the initial condition we have when X0, our Y is equal to 1.2. So this is uh, the table. Okay, so when X is equal to 0, we have our Y is equal to 1.2. And our z is equal to minus 1.5. Then, how to calculate our y and z when x is equal to 0 0.25? Okay, by using this formula. Okay, so for y1, y1 is equal to y0 plus f1. Our x0, x0, y0, z0 multiplied with h. So we have our y0 is equal to 1.2 plus 
plus F1, X0 0, Y0 is 1.2, Z0 is equal to minus 1.5, and H is equal to 0 0.25. Okay, so substitute this value into our F1. So this is our F1, F1 is equal to Z only. So that's mean 1.2 plus Z is equal to minus 1.5, multiply with 0 0.25 so you will have 0 0.825 then we continue with z how to get the value for z so this is the formula z1 is equal to z0 plus f2 x0 y0 z0 multiply with h our z0 is equal to negative 1.5 plus f2 0 1.2, negative 1.5, and H is 0 0.25. So, what is our F2? F2 is equal to 2Y. That means your equation, negative 1.5 plus, okay, substitute the value into our F2. Okay, 2Y, that means 2 times 1.2, multiply with 0 0.25. So, you will have this value, negative 0 0.9. So continue your calculation until you have y4 here. So where y4 is equal to 0 0.4312. If we refer to our problem, suppose when x is equal to 1, our y is equal to 0 0.9. But when we see we refer to this table after the calculation, we have when x is equal to 1, our y is equal to 0 0.4312, where this value is very far from our condition given. Because of the value that we get from the calculation is not equal to the value from the boundary condition given, so we need to calculate again. So, the second calculation, we will start with the second initial gas where Z0 is equal to minus 1. And by using the same condition, Y0 is equal to 1.2. So, this is my table for Euler. By using this formula, okay, same calculation as before. So, this is the complete table that I have. Okay, let's check the value. As we know, the condition given to us when x is equal to 1, y must be equal to 0 0.9. But from the table here, I have when x is equal to 1, my y is equal to 0 0.9938. Where the value we get from the calculation is not equal to our condition. So because of that, we need to find the new value for Z0 where we are going to extrapolate. So before that, let's identify okay, uh, all the value. What is R1, R2, D, Z1 and Z2. Okay. For the first initial guess, this will be our Z1. For the second initial test, this will be our Z2. Sorry, this is G1 and this will be our G2. Then, what is R1 and R2? R1 is the value that we get from the first calculation. So, this value will be our R1 and this value will be our R2. Okay, what is the value for D? D is the desired value at the end point okay so we are going to find when y x equal to 1 y must be equal to 0 0.9 so this will be our d so now let's substitute all the value that we have into the extra polyte formula so this is the formula Okay, where Z0 is equal to G1 plus G2 minus G1 divided by R2 minus R1 multiplied with D minus R1. So, G1 is the first initial guess. So, we have minus 1.5 plus G2 minus T, G1. G2 is the second initial guess, minus 1, minus G1, minus 1.5. 
divide by what is R2? R2 is the value that we get from the um, second initial gas. So R2 is equal to 0 0.9938 minus R1. R1 is the value that we get from the first initial gas. That is 0 0.4312. And multiply with D minus R1. What is D? D is the value from the problem. So our value is 0 0.9 minus R1 0 0.4312. So just use your calculator. So you will have your Z0 is equal to minus 1.0834. Then we calculate again by using Euler method by using the new initial gas. So the new initial gas, we have Z0 is equal to negative 1.0834 and Y0 is equal to 1.2. By using the Euler, the same method, the same step as before. So this is my complete table. Now, let's check the value, the last value that we get. Suppose we must have when X is equal to 1, our Y is equal to 0 0.9. So let's check from the table. When x is equal to 1, my y is equal to 0 0.9. Where this value is equal to the condition that given to us. So now you already get the value for the problem. You already get the solution for your problem. Let's try another example. This is the exercise from our module. So the position x of a folding object at time t is governed by, so this is our equation, second order ODE. If the boundary condition x0 is equal to 0 and x20 is equal to 800, approximate the solution of the position x for each interior notch by using a linear shooting method where the first initial gas given to us, Z0 is equal to 5, Z0 is equal to negative 5, and our step size H is equal. Okay, so let's go to the solution. So, first step, okay, let's rearrange our equation into our general form. So, let's move 2 to the other side. Okay, so the equation becomes 4.9 minus dx dt. Okay, so this already in our general form. And then, let's change from second order to first order. Okay, so first step, okay, let dx over dt is equal to z. Then, we differentiate again, so we will have d square x dt square is equal to dz over dt. And d square x dt square is here. 4.9 minus dx dt is equal to z. Okay, so from here, we have two equations. So the first one will be our F1 and the second one will be our F2. Okay, then let's etch our timeline. Okay, so we start with T0 is equal to 0 and the increment is equal to 5. So we have T1 is equal to 5, T2 is equal to 10, T3 is equal to 15 and T4 is equal to 20. Okay, and if t equal to 0, we have x is equal to 0, so x not equal to 0. And then the next one, when t is equal to 20, we have x is equal to 800, so x4 is equal to 800. So we are going to find the value for x1, x2, x3. Since okay, we have two differential equations here, that means uh, we have three variables, x, z, and t. So we need to solve by using system, by using system of Euler. So the formula, okay, so we have uh, xi plus 1 is equal to xi plus f1, ti, xi, zi multiply with h. And then we have zi plus 1 is equal to zi plus f2, ti, xi, zi multiply with h. And the last one, ti plus 1 is equal to ti plus h. 
So this is the formula of Euler for system. Now let's start our calculation. So firstly, make sure uh, you know when t is equal to 20, our x must be 800. So for the first calculation, let's start with our first initial guess, z0 is equal to 5. So we solve our problem by using sister or uh, Euler of Euler for system and I present my answer in this table. And if we see when t equal to 20, our x is 72.5. This is far away from our condition. So we need to proceed to the next calculation where the second, uh, we use the second initial guess where our z0 is equal to minus 5. Again, we solve our problem by using uh, Euler for system and I present my answer in this table. And when t is equal to 20, this is my x, where my x is over from our condition. Okay, because of that, okay, we need to use linear extrapolate to find the new initial guess. But before that, okay, I just want to uh, tell you that our z0 is equal to 5, this will be our g1. And our second z0 is equal to minus 5. This is our will be our g2. And answer from the first calculation here, 72.5, this is our r1. And answer from the second calculation, this will be our r2. So this is the formula for linear extrapolate. So let's substitute all the information that we have. So we start with uh, G1 is equal to 5 plus, okay, G2 minus G1, that's mean minus 5 minus 5, divide by R2 minus R1. So we have 262.5 minus 72.5, multiply with D minus R1. So we have 800 minus 72.5. So just by using our calculator, so our new initial gas Z0 is equal to 2.1471. So continue our calculation by using the new initial gas Z0 is equal to 2.1471 and solving the same problem by using a system of order and I present my answer in this table. So now, I have when t is equal to 20, my x is 799.9595, where this one is near to 800.